Hi, I'm Carly Cobble. Let me show you how natural stone paving is made. Many natural stones such as sandstone and limestone come from India. The quarries manufacturing stone for paving superstore guarantee that employment is freely chosen. Child labor will not be used. Discrimination shall not be practiced. Living wages are paid. Employees are treated respectfully and fairly. Safe and hygienic working conditions are provided. And working hours are not excessive. So, let's look at what happens when stone is quarried. To start, huge pieces of rock are extracted from the quarry. and moved into place for machining. If a sawn, flat surfaced paving slab is required, the paving is cut into slices, similar to slicing a loaf of bread. Or if a natural ribbon surface is needed, this is split by hand, across the natural seam of the rock. There are two main methods for cutting the edges of slabs. One way is to carefully measure and fettle by hand. Hand cutting, or fettling, involves the paving edges being chipped away with a chisel. This gives an attractive, traditional appearance that complements the ribbon surface, and provides the rustic charm of a natural paving stone. Alternatively, machine cutting the slabs leaves a smooth, straight edge finish. Some people prefer this finish if they are looking for a modern, sleek appearance. Some of our specialist finishes include sand blasting and shot blasting. Sand blasting is where sand is fired under pressure at the paving, to give a lightly textured finish. Sand blasting and shot blasting give a premium contemporary appearance to the paving, and a practical slip-resistant surface. Shot blasting involves firing small beads of steel under compressed air pressure onto the surface of the paving, to give a lightly stippled appearance. Other finishes include flaming and brushing. Flaming involves burning the surface of the paving with a hot flame. This leaves a naturally stippled surface on paving such as granite and a gently rippled surface on stones such as sandstone. A brushed surface has a stiff bristle brush dragged over the surface to give a time-worn appearance. Another popular choice is a tumbled finish which makes the paving appear weather-worn and aged and perfect for an older style home. The paving is tumbled in a huge vibrating machine. The majority of paving slabs are calibrated, which means they are cut to an even thickness with just a small tolerance on dimensions. The back of the paving is partly corrugated. Calibration generally makes the paving easier and quicker to install. So there you have it, an overview of some of the processes your paving goes through to make it the perfect product for your garden. I hope you found it interesting, and look forward to you joining me, Carly Cobble again to learn more.